airborne shipping, the new king of commerce. Across all 23 American nations, old-fashioned trains, ships, and trucks are no match for the modern Zeppelin. Shipments have never been faster. Mountains, forests, and rivers? No problem for these luxury liners of the sky. But with modern air shipping comes modern air pirates, the scourge of the sky. Not since the days of wooden ships and iron men have pirates so cursed the world. Hunting the skies between the Americas for loot and cargo, and even the occasional kidnapping. But such villainy is answered in force. Government militias and private security companies have responded, raising their own air forces to fight the criminals, to beat the devils at their own game. Score one for the good guys. The Parade of Aces. The hair-raising adventures of these heroes have captured the imagination of the world. New York ladies' man, loyal showstopper Crawford. Aviation security pioneer, Paladin Blake. Hollywood blonde shell, Charlie Steele. Ex-pirate turned pirate hunter, Easter Whitaker. The parade of infamy, the villains of the air. Double-crossing ex-Texas Air Ranger, the murderous Marshal Bill Redmond. From Wall Street Raider to Zeppelin Bandit, the vicious Jonathan Genghis Khan. The pirate with a secret purpose, the brilliant and mysterious Black Swan. Don't let her beauty fool you, boys. This one's too hot to handle. And the undertaker of the sky out of Skyhaven, cold-blooded newcomer Ulysses Booth. But the pirate's short life of fame, daring, and fortune always ends the same, in a twisted metal coffin. The battle rages on, but justice will prevail. The criminals of the air... What gives, boss? You, the world-famous Nathan Zachary, didn't even make it into this month's Parade of Infamy! <laughs> Trust me, Jacko. With what I've got planned, we will. I make four peacemakers, British markings. Heads up! Bandits coming in on the Pandora. I make four peacemakers, British markings. This is Sparks. You still alive in there? Yeah. Geez, Skipper, you're missing the whole works. The party, the cookout, the women. When are you going to join us? I'll be down when I can, kid. See, I told you. He's not budging. Give me that thing. Chief, it's Tex. Not only are you missing Big John's choice, eat, but Justine here says she ain't done with you yet. Nathan, where are you? We miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Chief, you plain work too hard. Why, you only spent one night with the ladies. And what a night it was. See, blowing off steam's good for a fella. What I'm getting at, sir, is that it's been a tough month. We all know how sore you are about that rat Miles double-crossing us in Cuba, but he's sleeping with the fishes now, and you'll figure out some plan to make us all rich again. You always do. Tex, let's not ever talk about Lucas Miles again. Understood? Now I've got work to do. He's hopeless! Here, you try. Jack here. What are you reading now, Zachary? British politics, uh, shipping reports? The Secret Journeys, a Hawaiian oral history of Sir Francis Drake, 1578-1580. Got it yesterday. You see, you see, that's sad. That you need to get out more. Fascinating. 
Everyone thinks Captain Cook discovered the Hawaiian Islands in 1778, but in 1579, the English privateer Sir Francis Drake was here. He lost his largest ship, the Teresa, in a storm near here, off the Kapaui Islands. All hands presumed lost. Oh, wow, no kidding. 1579, cheese and crackers. You know, I'll be sure to tell the crew. Jacko? Yeah? We're not here for fun. We're here for treasure. Remember that leather map we pinched in Tortuga? Two years ago. Yeah, sure. How could I forget? I finally figured out what it is. It's the map of the Teresa's last route. Jack, she was full of stolen Spanish gold. And I think I found her. Oh, why, you old devil.